Today, we're gonna to be talking about the 157 and 165 pound predictions at the NCAA Wrestling Championships. We're gonna do a separate video for each weight class, so make sure you check our channel. Um, watch the other video after this one. Let's go into the video. And then in the round of 32 on the top half of 165, Alex Marinelli should have an easy time advancing between Bullard and William. It doesn't really matter who advances because they're going to go up against the Bull next. But uh, Luke Weber, Shane Griffith, Zach Hartman, Jake Keating, basically everybody else in this bracket uh, should have an easy time advancing, especially Tanner Schedule and Mekhi Lewis have pretty, pretty easy draw. In the round of 32 on the bottom half, Wenzel should advance. Uh, between Peyton, Rob, and Garrett uh, from Purdue, these guys both have wrestled each other in the Big Ten, I think, Consolation semifinals or Consolation quarters. Uh, but Peyton Rob won that matchup. He probably will win again. And then Cameron Amin will have an easy time advancing. Same with O'Toole, Smith, uh, Whitlake. Uh, Brongo can probably advance pretty easily as well against Isaac Olenek. Uh, Olenek, a tough, tough wrestler, but Brongo has been really gritty and gotten a few upsets this season as well. And then Anthony Valencia should have an easy time advancing. And then in the round of 16 and the quarters, Marinelli, uh, Mekhi Lewis, Hartman, and those three guys should all have easy times advancing. But in the round of 16 matchup between Weber and Griffith, this will be close, but in common opponents, Weber does lead, so I think he'll advance here. Um, and then between Alex Marinelli and Weber, Marinelli uh, for sure. And between Hartman and Lewis, if Lewis is healthy, he'll advance as well. In the round of 16 in quarters on the bottom half of 165, Wenzel, O'Toole, and uh, Valencia should have easy times advancing. But between Ethan Smith and Travis Whitlake, I think Whitlake will advance, get an upset here. A tough, tough wrestler. He's leading in common opponents. They've never wrestled off against each other before, but Whitlake has some dominating wins, and I think he only has one loss on the season so i think he will advance here giving us the quarters between wenzel and o'toole i think o'toole will get the upset here uh he's a true freshman wrestler bumping up a bit of weight but he is a stud at 165 just been dominating kids was the mac champion i think he'll probably beat wenzel to make the semis and then valencia should have an easy time beating whitlick in this one in the semis uh, marinelli versus lewis last time these guys wrestled it was two years ago uh, Marinelli got upset by Lewis, and I think he'll lose again if Lewis is healthy. Uh, Mecca is just a great, great wrestler. Could potentially be a five-timer this year, and I really, really want to see that happen. I think he'll beat Marinelli here. And then against Valencia and O'Toole, um, both guys great. O'Toole obviously is a bit shorter than Valencia. Valencia has that reach, but if O'Toole can get to uh, Valencia's legs on some low-level shots, I think he'll be able to take him down, go to the finals, up against Mecca Lewis. Um, this one's going to be a very, very fun weight class to watch and a very fun finals match. Got uh, both pretty young guys, and it's going to be really hard to give a prediction for this one. Uh, look through all their common opponents, everything. Um, it's going to be very close if they do meet, and I think Mekhi Lewis might just edge out O'Toole here. Uh, he has a bit more experience than him in the NCAA scene, but who knows? If Lewis isn't 100% healthy, maybe O'Toole will be a freshman champion. Um, that would be something, but... Who knows? Just gotta wait uh, until this weekend. It's gonna be a crazy, crazy matchup. That's gonna wrap up our video today talking about 157 and 165. If you haven't checked out both videos, check them out as well as our past videos on 125 up to 149. So yeah, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and stuff for more content like this.